Hi, Odyssey Camper here. I've had a couple questions about these Die Hard and Schumacher battery packs. People want to know how long they last, what kind of load they can put on them, so I thought it might be interesting to do a complete rundown test. So what I've done is I've grabbed my 300 watt immersion heater and 16 ounces of water. I'm going to go ahead and boil that water and then I'm going to let it run and see how long the battery lasts. I'll do a little time lapse in here so that you don't have to sit here for half an hour to watch it run down. I've also connected my kilowatt power meter. Now I've mentioned this in the past but it allows you to measure voltage, amperage, wattage. Uh, so if you don't want to do the math you can just uh, plug your appliance into that and see how much power it pulls. And given that it's a 400 watt inverter in the Die Hard, uh, I looked around to find the, the biggest load I could find and 300 watts is about what I had. So that I think will make a pretty good rundown test and it's also comparable to my 300 watt heater which I'll use in another test. So I've made sure that the Die Hard's fully charged. Battery is at 100%. And I'll turn on the AC inverter. Now you'll notice something interesting in a, in a moment here. So first we're pulling 115 volts, or I should say it's providing 115 volts. Notice how the battery jumped down to 64%. I'll talk about that a little bit. Wattage is 288 watts, and it's pulling 2.5 amps. That'll speed up the video a little bit. I wanted to show the complete test without any interruptions so that people can't say I messed with the clock or anything like that. Typically it takes about one minute per ounce of water with the 300 watt heater to heat water, so 12 ounces in 12 minutes uh, to boiling, and then 16 minutes to boiling with the full 16 ounces we have here. And you'll see that the meter is ticking down as we go. Keep in mind that that meter is only reflecting battery voltage, and the voltage will drop when it's under load. It doesn't mean that you only have 31% left. It's just, uh, just not that accurate while it's actually running. Dropping back to normal play speed, you can see it just about starting at 14 minutes in. We're starting to get water that's plenty hot enough for coffee, plenty hot enough to make oatmeal, etc. Not quite a full rolling boil. That'll come on the next couple minutes. And our battery pack has dropped down to 20%, so you would assume that in the same amount of time it'll drop to zero, but what you'll see is that that's not strictly true. Coming up on the boil now. Here I'll speed the video up again until we get down to 0% on the battery. And this would be a good time to thank everybody for watching. If you find the videos to be useful, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe. The other reason I'd like you to subscribe is that I'm trying to run a test to show people uh, how little you actually earn on YouTube videos because I think a lot of people oversell starting a YouTube channel and then heading out on the road. and It's a lot more work than uh, people would assume. But before YouTube starts paying anything, or before Google starts paying anything, they want you to have a thousand subscribers, which is pretty ridiculous, but it's to protect their sponsors. Uh, so when I get to a thousand, I'll do a video showing uh, what I'm earning on these videos when people watch. We've reached zero on the battery pack, and now we're getting the low battery indicator, so we're about to shut off. So with the low battery indicator on, we still ran for about a minute. Now I'm going to disconnect everything and take a look at that battery level again. And what you'll notice is when there's no load, it thinks there's 25% battery left. And again, it's just looking at the voltage of the battery. Now with everything shut off, I'm going to let the battery rest for about 10 minutes. Actually, exactly 10 minutes. We'll do a fast play here. And because of the battery chemistry, it'll make a partial recovery. And this is important because you really only run your high load devices for a couple minutes at a time. Maybe in the morning when you're making coffee, in the evening if you're making soup or something. And then the rest of the time you're charging a cell phone or whatnot. So the draws vary and the battery will have time to recover during normal operation. So now I'll check the battery level and after 10 minutes resting time, discover that it's recovered about 25%. And I can go ahead and plug my iPad in and turn on the USB charger and still use a lot of the battery energy that's left. So what did this prove? Well, it didn't really prove anything because it wasn't a scientific test, but it does demonstrate that when you hook a high load device, something that uses a lot of power to the Die Hard battery pack or the Schumacher battery pack, these small batteries have trouble keeping up. Uh, really, you should only run it for about 10 minutes at high load, then give it a little bit of a rest if possible, and that'll extend the battery life through the day. 
presumably you'll be charging it at some point during the day, either through solar or through plugging into the cigarette lighter or through a solar charger or some other way. So based on this, you probably wouldn't want to run a high load device like an electric heater on one of these battery packs. However, I'll show you in the next video a little trick that allows you to run a small electric heater and get an extended use out of one of these battery packs. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe down in the corner. I'd really appreciate it. That'll also let me do my video demonstrating uh, what these videos earn, which uh, so far they've earned absolutely nothing, but that's not why I do it. <laughs> but I would like to show that uh, some of these young people that think they're going to go out on the road and earn a living off of YouTube videos, uh, you're probably better off making cat videos than trying to do something educational or DIY that appeals to a small audience. Again, thanks for watching. Thank you.